Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of EV Unite. So I'm sitting here right now in a Chevy Bolt EV. This is a 100% all electric EV. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you could charge this car as well as any other non-Tesla using a Tesla charger. And all you need for that is this funny looking adapter that I've got right here in my hands. So without further ado, let's get started. So we are here at a Tesla destination charger and we are gonna be charging the Chevy Bolt using this right here. So this is by a company called Lectron. Um, you can see it's called a Tesla to J1772 adapter. Um, at the bottom it says, use Tesla charging station to charge your electric vehicle, convert the Tesla special adapter to standard J1772 port compatible with other electric vehicles. And then if we take a look at the back here, um, so specifications, the voltage is a maximum of 250 volts AC, current maximum 40 amps, operation temperature 30 degrees C to 50 degrees C, uh, sorry, negative 30 degrees C to 50 degrees C. Um, it's a standard charging port, so the SAE J1772. The connector port is a Tesla US connector, and then the cable length is 3.9 inches, and it weighs 1.83 pounds. So it shows you here how to use it. So you connect the Tesla charger to our converter, plug into your electric vehicle, which supports J1772 plug and start charging. And then it says, remove the converter, either by pressing the red button on the Tesla adapter end or pressing the black button on the J1772 end once charging is finished. Um, it does say just some notes here, Tesla charger not included. Electron is not affiliated with Tesla Incorporated. Electron is a trademark of Dropcase Limited, and Tesla is a trademark of Tesla Incorporated. Um, one other thing, if we look at the uh, little booklet that comes with it here, it specifically does say here that it's not compatible with tes Tesla Supercharger. Um, so yeah, I think power-wise, this isn't something that's gonna be able to handle a Tesla Supercharger, but it will be able to handle a Tesla destination charger or just a standard home charger. So here we can see the adapter itself. On this end, um, it's pretty familiar looking. This is just your standard J1772 adapter side. Um, you have your handle with your release button. And then on the other side, when you press this button here, this reveals underneath the cap, the Tesla side of the adapter. When the car is not charging, you can see over here, there's the yellow lightning bolt, um, and it just typically will just read one kilowatt there. And then once the car is actually charging, that'll change to a green lightning bolt, and it'll show you how much power in kilowatts is getting delivered to your vehicle. All right, so first step, all we gotta do is just take the Tesla handle and plug it into the Tesla side of the adapter. And then we're going to take the other side here. We've got our charge port open. And then we're just going to plug into the car. And now we should be charging. So there's the Tesla destination charger plugged in. You can see we are plugged in here to the Chevy Bolt. And let's take a look inside at the dashboard. So you can see there it says... Um, the green lightning bolt is saying that we are charging and we're delivering seven kilowatts of power to the vehicle. And we can see that on the display here as well. All right, so to disconnect, you just press the button here, release, and then there's a red button here on this side. You can press that. That'll allow you to disconnect. And now you've got your adapter and the Tesla charger here. And then when you're done charging, there's this nice little cap um, and there's a wire that holds it onto the adapter. You could see there's kind of a um, cutout here and then inside the adapter where this red button goes, um, when you push this in, you can kind of get a nice snap and this is gonna protect the leads and make sure that the charging port is nice and clean and it doesn't get any debris or dirt or water or anything inside. The other side um, also has a protective cap. This one's just a rubber cap for the J1772 side, and this just covers like that, and that keeps this side of the port clean as well. So this particular Tesla destination charging 
location also conveniently has um well both a second tesla charger but also a siemens um, standard charger for j1772 compatible vehicles so i've got that handle right here in my hand and we're going to try something a little interesting here um, it's not something that you would ever normally do but just to kind of test out the products and see if this will charge the car let's try something out so electron also sells this other type of adapter so this is a j1772 to tesla charging adapter so essentially this is the exact opposite of the other charger that we were just looking at um, this will convert the other way this adapter might look familiar to you and that's because tesla includes one of these when you purchase any of their vehicles tesla also offers replacement adapters on their website for 95 dollars from my testing the electron adapter works just as great as the tesla one and only costs 85 dollars it is clearly high quality and overall works great. That being said, personally, I think I would choose the Tesla adapter over the Electron option because for an additional $10, I would rather buy a Tesla manufactured product. Hopefully, Electron can decrease the price of this adapter over time and it would be more competitive in the market. So I have that adapter right here in my hand. This is the J1772 side and this is the Tesla side. So what we're gonna go ahead and and do is plug in the Siemens charger handle, which is there, 1772. We're gonna plug that into this adapter, and then we're gonna plug this adapter into the other adapter, which converts it back the other way, and then charge the bolt using that method. So we're plugging in the adapter here, just like that. Now we're plugging in adapter to another adapter, so I think I gotta press the red button here. And now we're gonna go back. So again, you would never actually do that because you could just straight plug this right into the car, but just to actually test out the products um, and see if this will even work at all, we're gonna try it out. So we'll plug it into the car. And then let's take a look and see if this is actually charging or not. So if we go inside, we could see that right here it is indeed charging um, so you're probably getting some losses because we're going through multiple adapters um, again you would never actually want to do this in practice but um, it is showing that the products are working and the car is charging with that setup i think this electron adapter is a great option for any non-tesla ev owner who wants the additional ability to charge their car by utilizing the large Tesla destination and home charging network. Overall, the product worked as advertised and was really easy to use. The adapter is small and lightweight, which makes it easy to store in your trunk or back seat. And I also really like the port covers on either side that help to protect the power leads. For all of these reasons, I would recommend this product, and I think it's a nice accessory to give non-Tesla owners Peace of mind knowing that they have an additional charging option available to them to reduce range anxiety. All right, so that's gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you and you found some value in it. Um, if you did find any value, please consider giving it a like. And if you're new to the channel and you're interested in electric vehicle content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.